Popular Nollywood actor Carlo Ikawo has dragged his wife to court for deserting their matrimonial home and denying him Pona, that is his conjugal right, for three years. Hello, my amazing fam. Welcome back to my channel. If you're seeing my channel for the first time, I want to especially welcome you. Please do subscribe to my channel. And for my amazing subscribers, you all are amazing. I do not take it for granted. Thank you all for all you do, and God bless you all. Nollywood actor Carlo Ika will drag his wife more than I passed my neighbor generator for deserting their matrimonial home and denying him his conjugal right for three years. Why it looks like marriage is becoming a scary venture, there are also others who are enjoying their marriage. Take the case of Francis Duru, who recently celebrated his 19 years anniversary with his beautiful wife. I mean, they have been married for 19 years. And I'm going to take my time to read out what he wrote on his Instagram handle about the wife. This is just to make anyone out there who is scared about marriage and what is happening in marriages right now that there are still beautiful marriages out there. So you do not have to be scared. You just have to pray that your own works for you. Francis Duru said in his Instagram, he says, talk forever. His design, blessed with three most wonderful kids, his favor, sustained by his grace, held by the new for 19 years to an amazing woman my elegant stallion i bless the day i found you you fulfill the essence for from on high my great midwife thank you for being you and being there for us thank those no one but you my undying love i vow forever we bless good god we bless god good people is our wedding anniversary your prayers will be cherished most May the good Lord bless you all abundantly. He did not also stop there. He also made several posts, okay, trying to praise the wife. And I'm going to read this one. He said, my chef of staff, it's not your bad dish. It's just to say thank you for making life easy for me. Thank you so much. I cherish you. Thank you. Good morning, folks. A day above ground is a great day. Give thanks to Jah. So this is to tell anyone out there who is feeling that, see, marriage is becoming, you know, something that is quite scary in these days because of what is happening, that there are still good marriages out there. There are people who are still enjoying their marriage. So back to the gist of Carlo Ikawo and his wife who are seeking for divorce. Nollywood actor Kali Ikago has dragged his wife to court for deserting their matrimonial home, like I said earlier. And then these people got married in 2015 and had their church wedding in 2016. They have two kids, a son between them and Ijoma's daughter. That is the, um, the wife brought a girl into the marriage who the guy actually adopted to be his own child. The marriage has now crashed. As the actor recently told an Ikeja High Court how his estranged wife, Ijoma, allegedly deserted their matrimonial home and prevented him from gaining access to the, uh, their two children. And then he continues to say, under cross-examination by um, the respondent counsel, S.I. Emedu, Ikago said his wife packed out of the matrimonial home and sent him a mail that she was going to her father's house in Enugu. She told me she was at her father's house in Enugu and four days later, I saw her at the airport in Lagos heading to God knows where. In the mail she sent, she said she was in Enugu. Ikago also denied that he sent his wife and kids out of the house and failed to provide for their upkeep. The actor father told the court that his wife denied himself and poured him water while he was sleeping. After the birth of her son, she has refused to have sex with me. I was not aware she lost the pregnancy due to an infection as I did not give her any infection. The wife was saying that she got an infection. She got infected with an STD from the husband and the husband is saying that he is not aware of the infection and um, that he didn't know she lost the child as a result of infection. Till date, I've not seen any reports attached to a document that she lost the baby through STD. Though I did not ask her why she lost the baby, he said. 
Ikago said he stopped sending money to the children for upkeep and maintenance because his wife denied him being the father of the stepdaughter. He added that this was after she accused him of attempting to sleep with the child. She failed to acknowledge the money he sent to her. On why he was seeking custody of his stepdaughter, whom he had earlier sought for revocation of guardianship, the author said he had information that his wife wanted to relocate the kids. Justice Christopher Balogun had earlier ordered the children to play with their father in the court and ordered the respondent to present the receipts of their children's tuition fee. And the judge explained that it would be a bit difficult to give him custody of their daughter why the mother is still alive. The Supreme Court ruled that it is not the wealth of a father that the children of that age need. They need the care and attention of their biological mother. The only reason the gay child should not be in custody of the mother is if the mother is mentally derailed or the issue of infertile, infidelity rather is involved. Azumi Nige starts her monthly period. You as a father do not know what to do. You will be scared of the blood. If female is delicate, you are your own case is worse because an accusation has been leveled against you, he said. The judge adjourned the case until 23rd for a continuation of the hearing. So the wife actually accused him that he wanted to sleep with the girl, with the little girl that he adopted. Remember, the wife came into the marriage with a little girl. I don't know what is happening to marriages right now trust me is becoming a lot scary and all that but one thing i will have to say is just marry your wife marry someone who you know who will be ready to stick there with you for the rest of your life because the thing that is happening in marriages like now is quite scary what i picked out from here is one the woman complained i'm not here to say that yes the man infected her with an std no but the woman complained um, that she got an STD, which led to, you know, her having miscarriage with the baby. And the man is saying he's not aware of, you know, STD being the cause of the miscarriage. All right. And then the woman also accused him of not providing for their kids. And he's saying that, no, that why he stopped providing for them is because the woman took you know, them away. I don't think as a father, that is enough reason for you to stop caring for your kids. These are your kids, right? So, I mean, I don't think it's enough reason, but let me not come here to judge. And then the woman complained that the little girl she brought into the marriage, that the actor wanted to have something to do with the little girl who happens to be 10 years old or so. When in this case, I don't know what to say. I just want to believe that it is not true because if that is the case, then it's so, so bad. And I will understand her fears in this case. Denying him sex for three years could be as a result of the STD or fear of being ring infected. I'm not saying that was the case, but then you agree with me that it could be the reason why she decided to deny him that for three years. But whatever be the reason Pray that they settle this matter amicably and probably co-parents in peace they, if they feel that this is not something that can be sorted out. May God help all marriages because I feel marriages are going through a lot these days and this is creating fear in, you know, young adults, young people who are still yet or who are yet to get into that institution called marriage. The prayer is that we marry the right person and we marry our own you know husband or wife thank you all for watching and see you in my next one bye bye guys